So I picked up this uh, Denon AVR X uh, 4200W at the uh, thrift store. It's 25 bucks. It's a damn good model. Um, but as all things too good to be true, turned it on and the red power light, uh, well, it shuts itself off and uh, the red power light blink blinks uh, twice every second. So it'll, it'll power on for maybe five seconds or so, then shuts down. So decided to pull it apart. Do a little check. I figure this probably happens to more than one person. So first you start at this main, at the, uh, I think they call this the SMPS. Couldn't tell you what that's, the SM stands for. I assume it probably stands for power supply. But uh, right here, if it'll focus, and it's not focusing. There we go, kind of. Um, with it plugged in and everything hooked up, you can power it on and check there, and it's labeled. You can see there's a couple of grounds, a couple of 5.2 volts circuits and then this red wire says main power. I've measured that it's uh, 3.25 volts that comes out of that. I assume it's probably supposed to be 3.3 but good enough. So everything works there. Went all the way uh, up to this board and then it powers up uh, and the power goes out from there. So I couldn't find a problem with that board but uh, I figured it was since there's no speakers connected it was the uh, protection circuit. So then went down here. This is the power board that's normally laying right there and it's got all these transistors at the bottom here that are hooked or uh, screwed on with thermal paste to this heat sink back here to keep everything nice and cool and so to check that all these different transistors let's see if I can get the camera to show this here let's see alright so I put it on diode test and we'll go to this transistor here and switch it around and you can see you, know, you can't really see the decimal point but that's this 0.545 and you go on the other one 0.472 and if you put the red lead in the middle you should still have over limit and over limit so tested every single transistor down there and everything worked except the one down here that I've since cut out and ordered a new part for. So I'll re uh, make a new video assuming that works when I put that in. That one right here that I clipped out is the, um, it's a Sandin um, one, uh, 1647 transistor and it was about four bucks and change off of the internet to get it replaced. So got the new um, transistor in, and just to compare one more time, old one on the right leg showing zero zero zero, and on the new one point four four seven. So this is how it's supposed to look. All right, so everything's back together. This is the first test once we've replaced that transistor. When I was testing it before, as soon as you plugged it in, it turned on. So here we go. And it would shut off in maybe three, two, one. We got it. Sweet.